All right, well, this is probably the, the biggest area for you to look at in terms of your catch, in terms of what you're doing with your pole, and I think your greatest area of opportunity in terms of improving uh, your pole. You enter palm down. Um, this is very good, and then you're kind of pressing that, that hand down, which is really good uh, at that point. But then what happens after that is when you go to pull, you kind of let those elbows drop. Um, so you stay very straight and very wide with your pole. We'll see it on the other front view as well. So your arms stay straight uh, out here and then out here. Uh, and what we really want, and I, I've shown us on videos before um, for you, you want that elbow to stay up higher. If I get a better drawing tool here. Um, but you want to bend at the elbow and then pull the forearm down. Um, so you got this nice high elbow, a little bit more seeable. And I don't know why that's not drawing the right way, but uh, and then coming at it this way. So you're keeping those elbows up uh, into the press and getting a little bit more vertical with those forearms and your catch. And you can see it here. You're just kind of pressing down and then you get your catch there. So you're losing the kind of the front of that catch. Good head position there. You're right in a good position to catch that water, but then you just kind of press those elbows down and you're leading with the elbows. And what I like to see is right here, you're in this position. So what we want to see is as you're out here in front, those elbows stay high and then that forearm and hand presses down from that position to that position there. And then eventually even more uh, as you drop it here so that you're getting more of your catch to pull yourself forward over your hands. Um, and what's happening is you're kind of dropping that elbow. So the next frame we'll see that elbow drops down and instead of staying high, it's dropping down. So your forearms remain flat and back. So you're not, you're kind of pushing your way up. So this is kind of pushing uh, your energy up instead of forward. So instead of, you're pressing your body up by dropping the elbow and losing that really good part of that first part of the catch. The good, first three to five inches is where you get the most out of your catch. So then you get in this position here and th here's where it gets good and this is where you're pulling water and that's where you get that vertical forearm. And you do a good job from here to the finish. Uh, and then again, kicks very active, hips are high, uh, head position is good. It's just you keep dropping that elbow and kind of um, not getting that high elbow catch. So we got to work on, and I'll talk to you about a workout, just trying to keep those elbows up as you're pressing into that catch. Um, as you come into the turn here, uh, kind of dive down and up. So stay, stay straighter into that turn. So when, when we're coming in, don't go down and then back up to the wall. Go straighter to that wall. So as I'm showing you here, you're diving down, your entire body is diving down, and you can just see how it's um, kind of from here uh, scooped into the water, into the turn. We want to be coming straight on that line uh, into the wall. So trying to trying to maintain that body line up here high in the water and high towards the turn and not diving down and then up into the wall. Okay, and then nice tight turn. Okay. Again, good push off, but your push off is really shallow. So when I'm looking at your push off, you're you're just really on a flat line almost, just a little bit below the surface of the water. And we want to be down here a little bit more, get a little deeper on that push off for that kick out. And you're just really shallow right there. Um, the water's moving at that point, kind of working against you at the surface of the water when you're that shallow. Uh, you do a good job of keeping that upper body very stationary and driving your dolphin kick out through your hips and not using your shoulders and arms, which is really good, but it's just really shallow. Uh, good no breath on the first stroke. Again, as you come in, you can just see how that arm is just dropping the elbow into that press. And again, we just we want to make sure that we're not dropping the elbow the shoulder comes out here and the elbow's high and then we're dropping that forearm and that hand into that catch. Um, so we're catching the water earlier and getting more out of our catch up front 
and you're kind of dropping the hands into that press. So losing that first part of the catch, you're pushing up and not forward. And we should be grabbing that water and coming over the top a little bit more into your catch. And I'll talk to you about it. I also can show you videos on YouTube of different flyers like Michael Phelps and how they're catching the water up front there and not dropping those elbows.